What is going on everybody? This is part two of our order flow lesson and really just a trade breakdown using order flow in a lower time frame. So picking up where we left off, I outlined bullish expansion for the week, which held until New York session today. Why? As annotated on lower time frames, we ran into a three month mitigation block. As in, it's the last down close candle before an up move that didn't recreate a high. So, mitigation block. Now, moving into the lower time frames, what did we talk about? Order flow. We have to pair premium arrays with discount arrays. I'm going to frame my trade idea that I took today. So here's the daily swing high that we had in this consolidation here. It, get, it gets run out. It get, gets run out and creates a V-shape rejection. Here. So failure to displace above a high, that signals purge and revert. Ideas. Pairing that with dollar taking sell side you can frame a narrative and that's what I did this morning I noticed speed up one two three hits the high failure swing displacement down taking out this swing low now, my thing here is the high time frame sponsorship. So ordinarily, this model, you could have been looking to go long from these inefficiencies here back into these consolidation highs and more premium prices. But we got high time frame sponsorship from a quarterly level that created a short term shift in structure. So this is when I decided to spectate. I noticed here, this is the last down candle before an up move that took liquidity that actually mitigated, partially mitigated this mitigation block. So this is a breaker, trades through the breaker, breaker holds, and then displaces through. So this can be your low risk sell, or this can be your low, low risk sell. But for me, I used the breaker as low risk sell. So that made this displacement return to this fair value gap, first distribution. And here is where I got involved in the market. First distribution created a second displacement. We took out this swing high and this swing high here. So, you know, another fractal model, take out highs, take out liquidity, Displace, creating a market structure shift below an old swing low, also creating a fair value gap, trades up into the fair value gap. I got involved here. Now, order flow is pairing premium arrays to discount arrays. So when I decided to get involved, I was looking at discount arrays. And what was standing out to me, firstly, was this low resistance liquidity run you have all these lows in here and right below that was a inefficiency so that was an easy target that stood out to me same thing here we have a stop run here and then a series of failure swings below this inefficiency so this was target number two and then last target was this inefficiency 
right above an hourly breaker. And I'll drag this over. So I paired this premium array with these discount arrays. And as we go through the model, and this is a market maker sell model, I want to see price violate old discount arrays and recreate new premium arrays and respect them. So as we're going through this, we see displacement, fair value gap, price here, disrespected this displacement that created fair value gaps as well as the, this order block. All right, we're moving on. Price recreates a new fair value gap, displaces. And then does the same thing again. This time we leave an order block. I like this, I define this as a high probability order block because aggressive buying was met with equal aggressive selling. Even though we didn't displace below this low, I annotated the consequent encroachment of this order block as a overlapping PD array. And as we see, as price remains in this area, look at your candle bodies and candle wick heights. So on the first return back into this area, price pushes all the way back up and closes above consequent encroachment. And then it leaves. And then it comes back and wicks into consequent encroachment and rejects. And notice how this wick is higher than this wick, marginally. But every time it passes into this area, it's getting weaker and weaker. And then we recre we create air another displacement. And this is another opportunity to get short. You know, if I was gonna pyramid again, um, I personally didn't want to see this for value get revisited like this, especially on a candle close inside, as you saw in, um, I posted a vignette on Twitter. I didn't want to see price come back up into here, but it did and quickly left. And as we see, we are, we're continuously violating discount arrays, inefficiency, liquidity, liquidity on this time frame while respecting premium arrays and constantly repricing lower. So utilizing these concepts on any time frame, we can align ourselves with higher time frame all the way into lower time frame to frame actionable trade ideas. Hope this was helpful. Till next time. Talk to you soon.